really going with Hu Tao's plan? At least by keeping things low key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor's services anytime soon. <sighs> yes, we grew up together, but we still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar. But he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. <laughs> Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. <laughs> I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jue Yun chili chicken. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jue Yun chilies. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal! Just give us a minute. Jue Yun chilies are a common sight in Liu. I can rustle that dish up in no time if you help me find some. Great, this should be enough. I'll get started on the Julian chili chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down? When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. Come to think of it, I remember he did join Wangsheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? How did you know? We didn't even say anything! <laughs> I'm a businessman. I've got a sixth sense for this kind of thing. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. I never heard the end of it when I set up shop. But I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Here. Take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow, you must be, like, super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it... We wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for Little Wu and Songza next. Mm-hmm. We already saw Little Wu. Now we gotta find Songza. I see. 
If it's Songzi you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so we've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes? I make artisan sail lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality Plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. Take it easy. Shards for Sansa. I think she mentioned it. Yes, here you are in the register. No problem. The Plostrite shards are over in that crate there. Please help yourselves. All tasks have been handed out. Ah, hmm. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look someplace else. These look like what Songzo was talking about. Let's head back. <laughs> Take it easy. Thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay, there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take, 
while this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well, and that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. Thank you! We'll pass it on! Big G is lucky to have friends like you. We got everything we need! Let's go to Wuong Hill and find Hu Tao and the others! Ready? Sooner than I expected. You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes, so I guess they knew the deal. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, the one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. Which is just as well, because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility, and I'm stricter than most. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? Of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. And where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. <laughs> So listen to everything I say. Let's go. I'm unscared. But like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. 